All right, guys, check it out. Here it is. My first experience with an e-bike or electric bicycle. This is the um, VeloWave Ranger. It has a 750 watt hub motor back here. It's a um, it's a seven speed bicycle, 26 inch frame bike with this massive badass four inch wide tire. I just love the tires on those things. Just freaking awesome. Um, the bike the bike actually has seven speeds with a grip shifter here you're probably used to um, speeds one through seven it is an electric bike so we have a we have to make sure it's turned off first so it is an electric bike so we have a thumb throttle here thumb throttle here that we can um, just use that if you want you don't have to pedal at all if you don't want um, this bike has hydraulic brakes front and rear hydraulic disc brakes And uh, we can see uh, we can see here is our uh, our rear hydro hydraulic disc, our shifter, heavy duty kickstand. Um, this thing is this thing is built, man. I'm a fan of welds, and that's something that I look at. And these welds look nice. So this section here contains a battery. Um, there's a key to open and close that. You can charge it with the battery on board, or you can take the battery out and charge it. Um, I don't charge big batteries like this in my house. I put these two straps on here because I carry it on a, a, uh, a bicycle wrap rack, and um, I just, I wouldn't want that battery to fall out while I'm going down the road, obviously. There's our uh, front disc brake. That's a nice uh, LED light on the front, nice and bright. This thing actually has um, suspension in the front forks, you can see you can uh, preload those and um, adjust adjust the uh, rigidity of that suspension. Pretty cool. We have a controller here. Uh, we push and hold that to bring up the display. I haven't even taken off the sticker yet. Protective decal. If I can get this in the shade here, maybe you guys can see it. It shows you our. Um, Get zoomed in a little bit, maybe we can see it. The display there, the display there shows you your um, your speed in the top left, shows your battery, shows how many miles you've traveled on it. We have a up up and down button here. Um, we push and hold that up button to get the light to come on, yeah. And this up button shifts through the different motor speeds, starting at one in the bottom left corner goes all the way up to five that's the speed of the motor so you control the speed of the pedal by shifting gears over here on the grip shifter like on a regular bicycle um, I added another LED light to the front up here um, because I wanted the blinky light in the back and that's required by law here uh, uh, in Florida where I live so I picked those up on Amazon it's a little uh, off center there but we got the red fancy Knight Rider blinker LED on the back just to be safe. So <clears throat> I meant to make a, uh, I wanted to make a good unboxing video, but it's been super, super windy here lately. So when I got this thing, the wind was blowing like 30 miles an hour and um, I just, you couldn't hear anything. So um, my thoughts on it in the package, it is very well packed. It comes in a huge, thick, cardboard box and everything is encapsulated in, um, in heavy black foam so it shows up without any nicks and scratches and dents on it which is very nice um, as far as assembly it was very easy we just had to put the um, we had to mount the handlebars on there very simple little allen wrenches and uh, put the front wheel in place the front wheel comes with an option for um, quick release as we see I have here, or you can have standard um, nuts and bolts that you tighten down on there. Not everybody's a big fan of quick release. But if you do it right, your wheels are not gonna come off. Um, good thing about the bike is 
Included in the package were all of the tools that were needed to assemble it. All of the properly sized open end wrenches, Allen wrenches, and even a screwdriver. So I didn't have to get out any tools to put it together. It made it really nice. Um, like I say, it's a 26 inch frame. The manufacturer says this is good for up to 300 pounds. Um, I'm sure it's probably good for more than that. It's a heavy duty bicycle. I don't think I'd want to have to pedal it real far without a battery for pedal assist, but um, those wide tires are really nice. They handle really well in the sand and the dirt. So I'm going to start putting it through the paces. Um, I'm going to ride it around out here at the airport a little bit and get used to it. I'm going to be taking it down to the Sunnyland Fly-In. And uh, that's what I, I'm working on a sign here for my paramotor school. We got some specials for paramotors that we're going to sell down there. And I'm going to take the bike down there to Sunnyland and uh, try it out. Let some of the other pilots try it out and uh, see what they think. All right, here we go. It's windy today, but that's not going to bother me a bit. pedaling goes and I'm on fifth speed all right so I'm in the highest gear on the sprocket I'm in uh, fifth speed for the motor There's 25 miles an hour Phone's ringing. 26. Wow. 27, and my feet are just moving. Twenty-nine miles an hour. It's cruising right down the road, boys and girls. Probably can't hear me with all the wind, but that is hauling butt. We'll slow down a little bit for the turn here. So the way it works, there's a sensor down there called a cadence sensor and it senses every time I make a stroke with the pedals. And it continues to apply electric power as long as I'm pedaling. I guess you still get some exercise that way. But yeah, cruising right along. Very nice. So if you're not pedaling and you're just using the thumb throttle over here, it cruises at 20 miles an hour. 19 miles an hour, which is still quite comfortable. I mean, that's cruising along. I would have to be pedaling my ass off to maintain 20 miles an hour. See how she does. Wow, that front suspension eats it up. Pretty 
darn nice. Shut it down. I tell you what, that is freaking awesome. I like it. Okay, I think I'm hooked. I rode the Velo Wave around the airport making this video. I took it to the Sunnyland Fly In and let some other people ride it, and I rode it a good bit. I put about 25 miles on the battery, and it was still at 15% or so when I charged it. Almost all of that was either hitting it hard, going as fast as it would go, demoing it, or riding it off-road on the grass, so I'm really impressed with it so far. The Vela Wave Ranger seems like a really good e-bike for bigger guys like myself. I'm going to keep on testing it. I'm going to make a few tweaks to it to, um, to suit my style a little bit better, and there'll be some more videos coming up. If you're interested, I'll put a link down in the description. Vela Wave has offered to give $200 off of the purchase price. And um, check it out, guys, if you want one. Support me and support the channel. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you on the next one. Grill is out.